Hey guys, so today I thought I would go ahead and make my uh, my updated man cave video. Uh, those of you that saw the first one know that it was over a year ago. It was in September of last year. And uh, I had just recently moved into my new house. And, uh, you know, I started setting up the man cave and everything. But, again, that's over a year ago. And as you guys know, I'm always adding to my collection and, you know, making new videos and everything. Uh, I've moved, you know, quite a bit of stuff around in my room. Um, some of you that saw the first video, um, you'll recognize some stuff is in the same spot, but other stuff I've, uh, moved around or added to or maybe rearranged. Um, I'm really excited to be able to make this video and share it with you today. I know a lot of you have been looking forward to this and, um, you know, my room is not a hundred percent and it probably never will be because as long as I'm still, you know, buying new things and adding to my collection. I mean, I'm always going to have to move stuff around and shift things this way or that way or display things in other ways. But so I'm, I'm pretty, pretty much where I want my collection to be as far as displayed right now, uh, other than a few little uh, things I need to finish up. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. And I uh, thank you guys for all your support and everything. Um, I'm really excited to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and take you in there now. All right, so just behind this door here is my man cave. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hope you guys like what you see. I'll kind of pan the room and uh, and then I'll kind of, you know, spend time in each area and everything and show you um, what all's in here. Those of you have been following me for a long time know that, you know, I love military stuff. And uh, like I said, I'm always adding to the collection and everything. But i um, been looking forward to making this for a while now. This is my hangout. This is my bunker. My, Like I said, my man cave, my collection, my museum. I've got all different kind of names for it. But lots of stuff to see in here. So I guess I'll start right here. You know, uh, most of you, you know, been following me know I love American flags. So I've got several of those displayed around. Folded American flags. A couple jerry cans and a couple prop guns there and a few other random things. Got my books there. I'm always reading all the time. Flag raising. Those of you who know me, I like uh, my favorite battle in the Pacific was uh, Iwo Jima. And uh, let me turn this on. I got a light here for my display case. I'll spend plenty of time showing you guys everything. I don't want to move too fast. I got all kind of ordnance and stuff in here. You know, different uh, 50 caliber and uh, 20 millimeter and just different things. Most of this stuff you see in here is uh, from World War II. Um, as far as, you know, the bullets and, you know, shells and different things. Um, some of it is after World War II, but got some binoculars in there and got some holsters right there. Down here on the bottom, I got four purple hearts and then uh, bayonets and some knives and different things. That's not a real German Luger. That's just a like a cast prop, but, you know, those are my bayonets and everything really awesome when it's lit up like that I love looking at it another flag over here folded American flag also that's my grandfather he was in the Korean War he was a marine um, he passed away in 1988 uh, I was about two and a half years old so unfortunately I never got to know him but uh, I still love him and uh, I miss the relationship that we could have had um, I got some other pictures here of him and information that's him in Korea this right here is the original photo that I took and had it blown up and got his honorable discharge and everything. But um, uh, I basically know him through, you know, pictures and stories from family members. But I always missed out on, or, you know, the thought of having a relationship with him and spending time with him and everything. But this right here is my uh, movie collection. Oh, these are all war movies. That's most of them. I got some VHS's in the living room, but down here I got mess kits, World War II, 
and then a World War One over there, and I got some books and everything here also. I always liked the longest. They always liked that album cover. Most of you guys know I love helmets, but got some random stuff here. I'll slide this out. I know there's a glare. Let me turn this light back off, but that'll help. But got my medals in there, dog tags, some random patches, and just different things in there. I got a lot of pictures and different things. That's my uh, World War II veteran friend, 9th Armored Division. He was just over here uh, Thursday, two days ago for Thanksgiving. We had him over last year also. He's 97 and a great man. These right here are some autographs and stuff that I have. And then I got this really cool picture here from 1942. I'll get to my helmets on this main wall in a second. There's my flak helmets. I got these mannequin heads. They used to not be on the heads, but I picked them up at Hobby Lobby not too long ago, and they display well. Got rough outs, shoe packs, and I got four uh, pairs of double buckle combat boots. I love these things. But um, I think I, I might end up labeling those. Like, you'll see my helmets are labeled and everything, but like I said, there's always more to do, but... Go my uniforms. I got some two World War I uniforms. I'm always looking for more of that stuff, but World War I stuff is almost impossible to find. It just is. But got Marine dress blues, lots of field jackets, Ike jackets, dress jackets. See, I got all different patches on them and everything. All different chevrons and, you know, ranks and different things. Then we get over here into my Navy stuff. And then we start getting into like Korea, Vietnam, and uh, after Vietnam, post like maybe 70s, 80s, early 80s stuff. But got some trench coats here on the end. But this right here is a wall of just some random stuff M1 carbine case, uh, and, um, flotation belt there. Gas mask bags. Got some um, pouches there. M1 carbine in 1911. Look at all my canteens. I think I have, I believe it's 61. Uh, but I've actually got a few more canteens I'm going to be picking up very soon. So I'll share those in another video. But like I said, I think as of right now, I believe it's 61 canteens. And uh, most of them have covers. But, I don't know, I just love canteens. love those things. Got more down here. And then I got some ammo crates. Uh, 303 British. These two um, M17s from early World War II. And then a World War I right there. Got a few, uh, a couple shovels and an axe. This right here is my ammo box collection. I don't even know how many I have. I got a few big ones in the garage. All together, I think I got, I don't know, like 25 ammo boxes. And I uh, see I've got them labeled with, you know, the different caliber ammo that's in there for the rifles that I own and shoot and everything. Just a few random things here on the top. And down on the bottom here, I got some, you know, some books and different things, but... Favorite uh, ETO battle was D-Day, you know, Normandy, D-Day. This right here is just the globe for my light. I took it off because it's kind of dark in here without, I mean, with that on. But Japanese flag, got another American flag there. And then as far as my helmets, I'll show you. Basically, it starts, you know, what they wear somewhat nowadays. It's like you're going back in time. You get into the 80s. And you get into the 70s, you know, Vietnam. I've got all of my ha uh, helmets labeled except for a few behind me, I'll show you. But different covers. You get into Korean War. And then I got uh, World War II. I got my Japanese there. The German M40. Uh, the British uh, Turtle helmet. Another British, couple, two, three British helmets there. 
Got World War One American up there, the M nineteen seventeens, and then there's the uh, Mark One, British Mark One helmets and everything. And uh, these are my World War Two U.S. M one helmets. I've got man, I don't even know. I think altogether my whole collection. I think I got a hundred and fifteen helmets, if I'm not mistaken. It might be a hundred and sixteen, but. I think I've got like 60 World War II M1 helmets, but I just love these things. They're, you know, people say like potato chips, you can't just have one, but I absolutely love these helmets. You know, the M1 helmet is iconic. Most of you collectors know that, but it displays so well. Um, I don't have these here, you know, labeled because I'm going to have to do some shifting around and, and put them in place, but I just kind of displayed them like that just temporarily, but I will put them where they need to be in the near future. But um, just love helmets, love history, love sharing it. Uh, you know, there's always more to learn. Uh, to learn, I'm sorry. There's you can never know it all. You never know it all. It's fun, you know, sharing this stuff with people and seeing other collections and everything. I'll show you my um, show you my gun collection. I'm working on getting a light in here, but let me show you. Give me just a second. There they are. Got my Mos and the Gants in there. Got my British uh, Enfields, M1 Garand, Japanese rifles, uh, M1 carbines, um, K98 Mauser Crag rifle. Uh, there's Jungle Carbine and just all different things. I think I've got around 30 total guns which almost all of them are rifles um do have this it's my model 1895 Nagant revolver got that one and i've also got this right here this is my baby this is my um springfield it's not a colt springfield 1911 from world war one and uh, this one dates to 1914. And this one is all original. I've taken it apart in every single piece. Even the barrel, the spring, everything is 100% original. 100% original. It's in great condition. The bore is in great condition. And uh, that's, my, I guess, my one of my prized possessions right there. But I haven't been shooting in a while. You know, my buddy got married, and, you know, that's great. I wish him well and everything. And I know he's had some things, uh, you know, he's having to, uh, you know, go through. Not in a bad way, but he just bought a house and got a lot of settling to do and everything. But wish him well. Maybe we can get back out there in the near future. But this is it, guys. This is what I know a lot of you have been waiting to see, and I've been waiting to show. And um, I do got some other stuff. Uh, not a whole lot, but a little bit in my garage and uh, a closet out here in the hallway there's a little bit of like pants and random stuff under there's a 1942 stretcher but, but this is it you know i'm i don't ever plan on stopping buying you know what i mean i mean they'll come you know sometimes i'll sell part with stuff that maybe i don't necessarily need anymore or want anymore but it's it's not world war ii stuff like i just don't it is probably stuff from you know vietnam era 60s 70s that i would start trying to sell but um this is it though i hope you guys like it and everything and uh, again i know i say it a lot but i really appreciate you guys support all your kind words your comments uh, i love it when you share my videos and um if any of you are watching now and haven't already subscribed i would love to have you as a subscriber uh, it would mean a lot to me to be able to you know have you as a subscriber and interact with you and everything and i love seeing your videos also you know your collections and and different things you know we 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 look at pictures and we we look at videos and it gives us uh ideas in different ways maybe we could set up our displays or or whatever it may be you get tips from other people and advice and everything um you know i've been collecting i, I started collecting this type stuff you know actual stuff like this in like I believe it was around 2008 so i've been collecting around somewhere around 11 years um i started when i was a teenager just collecting movies and i had no idea once i got you know a little bit older and more financially stable that i could start 
collecting stuff like this and I never dreamed I would have a collection like this and I don't say that in a bragging way at all you know I don't I don't make these videos because I don't want people to be jealous of me you know cause, I mean or envious I honestly mean that you know uh, I know people think my collection's cool and everything and I've always said you know have fun you know enjoy collecting enjoy the hobby you know don't uh, worry yourself or frustrate yourself don't stress yourself out because you know it takes uh, a lot of time and patience and it takes money it can take a lot of money to build a collection you know what you see here like i said it didn't happen overnight or within a year or two this is um you know about 11 you know 10 or 11 years of my life that um you know just picking up things here and there as i had the extra money or um just got a lot to be thankful for you know got a great family my wife supports me in my collection uh, she collects vintage cameras i support her also so um you know that's really cool but anyways, guys, um, let me know what you think about this video. Uh, I say it all the time. I got many more videos planned, and I honestly do. Uh, I got a vacation coming up in less than two weeks, about nine or ten days. I'll be on vacation, and hopefully I can make maybe two or three videos that week of some other ideas that I have. But anyways, again, thank you for all your support. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you all have a... A great Christmas, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. And I pray that God blesses you and your families. And uh, I'll be getting back to you guys soon. So thank you.